In this video, I'll be taking you guys through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create dashboards for your contractors on ClickUp. ClickUp is a super useful tool for productivity and managing a team of people within your business. And dashboards can be used to delegate, supervise, and track tasks that you give to them. Now, be sure to watch the entire video because I'll be taking you guys through the entire process so you'll be able to follow along even if you're a total beginner to using a platform like ClickUp. Okay, so here I am on ClickUp. And by the way, we're gonna be leaving a link down in the description for you guys to check out ClickUp, but basically it's gonna bring you to this website. And from here, all you would have to do is enter your email address and then click on get started. So I'm gonna enter it in. And then it's gonna bring you to this page right here where you give your full name. So I'll put Joey. Win. And then you're also going to have to choose a password. So I'll make a password really quick. And then I'll click play with ClickUp. And I guess they're also going to email you a confirmation code. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that right now. And boom, once that's done, it's going to say, welcome. Our mission is to make you more productive. And this will only take a minute. So this is going to be like an onboarding survey. So right here, you can name your workspace. So I'll just name it Joey Nguyen's workspace and click on next. And you can also choose the avatar or the color. So this is fine. So I'll just go with that. And it'll tell you to choose your favorite color theme. So I'll I'll just choose green right here and I'll say I'm happy so far and it'll ask you how many people will you be working with any of these other options right here go ahead and click on two to five and it's asks you how do you want to start using ClickUp you can choose it for any of these you can choose professional services sales personal use operations marketing or whatever for our example since we are doing like for a YouTube channel it would be for project management and then I'll click on next and it'll ask how did you hear about us I'll just say other and I'll say internet or something like that and I'll just choose search engine and then it'll tell me to invite people to my workspace. So right here, I can enter in the email addresses of any of my employees. And then it'll ask me if I'm using any of these other apps right here that I can integrate into ClickUp. So if you guys use any of these apps and you want to integrate it into ClickUp, then you just click it. For now, I'm going to say no thanks. And they're going to ask if you want to also import any tasks from any of these other CRM platforms. You know, most people, they use Asana or Trello. And so if you have one of those, then you can also import your tasks from those platforms onto ClickUp. For now, I'm gonna choose no thanks and that's it. So now I'm gonna click on play with ClickUp. So it's gonna bring you to this page right here where it says choose your ClickUp setup. And right here you could choose either simple, intermediate or advanced. Right now I'll just click on start simple. And what it's gonna do is it's just gonna create a simple list for me to have. And it's gonna have a to do as well as a complete section. Now from here, what we like to do is we like to create a new space. So we're just gonna click on new space right there and we're gonna name it whatever you wanna call your team. So let's name it team operations and then I'll click on next and you can choose your space color. So I'll choose, let's say red and we'll go to this icon right here. I'll click next. Now here, this gives you the option to share it with everybody in this workspace, or you can make a private. It's totally up to you guys. If you guys want to share it with everybody that joins the workspace for now, I'm just going to keep it at that and then click next. And then it's going to ask you what kind of task statuses that you want. So for this one, this is custom, which means you can add any statuses that you want. So let's say you want to add one that's let's call ready for review, click enter, and then we'll give it a color like that. And then we'll also add another status for done. And then this one will be green. And then we'll actually move this down to the done statuses. If you guys want, you guys can also check out the other templates that they have. They have task statuses for content, Kanban style, marketing, normal mode, as well as scrum. But for now, I'm just going to click on custom and then I'll click on next. This is going to give you all the options for click apps, but this is pretty advanced and it's not necessary for you guys to focus on this right now. So I'll just click on next. And that's going to ask you what kind of views that you want. Right now it has it on lists and board. You can also do calendar. You can add a map view. You can add an activity view, all this other stuff. But for now, I'm just going to click on review space and just double check that everything is right. And then I'll click on create space. So basically this team operation space right here is where you're going to be putting everything that has to do with your team. So if you want to create a list, for example, this one already has a list, so I could just rename it. So if I just click on list settings right here and I rename it, I can rename it to, let's say weekly goals like that. And then also right here, you guys have a bunch of tutorials from ClickUp on how to use it. So you guys can check that out if you want. Right now, I'm just going to click exit to get that out of the way. But basically right here, I have my weekly goal so I can change this one to week one. And then it'll ask me if I want to change the status for just this list or the entire space. I just want to change it for this list. So I'm just going to click on save. And now it's basically going to change it to week one. So I can name a bunch of different weekly goals for this week. So let's say post three YouTube videos like that. And I can actually go right here and then I can click on this list settings right here.
here. And if I click on list settings again and go to list statuses, that's basically gonna allow me to change all the statuses. So if I wanna add another one called, you know, week two, I do that and I can change the color as well. If I wanna change the color of this one, I can as well. So let's say I wanna change it to green and then just click save. Now, in order to create a dashboard for your employee, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your team operations and then you're gonna click on the plus sign right here. This is gonna allow you to add a list, doc, whiteboard, folder from template, or you can import something into that team operation space. So for dashboards for your employees, what I like to do is I like to create a folder and then I like to name this team dashboards like so, and then I'll click on create folder. And it's gonna basically allow me to create a bunch of different lists for employees that I can keep within this folder. So let's say right here, this one is an employee. So I can click on list settings, go to rename and I can go dashboard. And let's just say I make one for myself. So I'll put Joey like that. And right here I have already to do, but I can go in right here and click on list settings again, and then go to list statuses and I could use custom. So let's say I want to change it to ready for review and I want to change the color. So I'll go down here, change it to orange. And I can also add another one called done. So let me make it green and then change it to done statuses. So I can click save on that. And now let's say I create a test task right here. And let's say I go to the to do and I click on ready for review. It's basically going to change it to the ready for review. So if I have another task, let's say two, like so I can, you know, change it from to do to done. And I can also change it to complete. Now when you're ordering these statuses, it tends to order it backwards. So in order to fix that, I'm gonna go up to here by group by status, and I'm gonna click on where it has the up and down arrow. And if I click on that, then it's basically gonna have it in reverse. So now it's gonna have it descending. And then down here, it's gonna say that you have unsafe changes. So right here, you can either save or have it auto save your view. So I'm just gonna click on auto save review. And basically any change that I make to this dashboard, it's gonna automatically save it. Now within your dashboards, what you can do is you can start messing around with these columns right here. And what I like to do is I like to always assign the tasks to the person that's on the team that's assigned to this dashboard. So right now this is my dashboard. So I'm going to assign tasks to me. So now every time I create a task, let's create a new one. So test task three, that's going to go in the to do. And then you're going to see that I'm the assignee right there. And if I go back to automate, then I can also add a watcher, which basically means that anytime something changes in that task, like let's say an assignee due date changes or priority changes, then I'm going to get notified either through email, the app or by text message. And you can see here that you can also add due dates. Now, if you guys don't see this, then you guys just have to click on this plus button right here where it says add a column. And when you click on that, you have a bunch of different options to add to your columns. And right here where it says show slash hide, you can click on any of these and it'll basically show or hide that field. So let's say I click on assignee. Now basically the assignees are disappeared. And if I want it to be back on there, then I'll just click on assignee right there. And you have all of these other columns that are already existed. So, you know, if you want to track the start date, the status, task ID, anything like that, then you just show that. But if you want to make a custom one, then you'd have to go down here. So let's say you want to create like a budget column, right? So you go right here, you name it budget, and then it's going to be in money right here. And you could choose the currency that you use. So I'm gonna click on add on column. And then right here, it's basically gonna have the budget. So now when I go in, I can add like a number and then it'll basically tell me the budget of whatever task that I put it on. That's just one example. You could do a bunch of other ones. Like you choose a drop down. For example, one of the things that we like to do is we like to have our invoice status. And then this is gonna be a drop down menu. So we're gonna have option one as sent and we're gonna add a color to this. So we'll put orange and then we'll go ahead and add a new option. And we'll have it as paid. And then this one's gonna be green. And I'll go ahead and click add column. So anytime like a video comes out and it's like sponsored by somebody, then we'll click on invoice status and then we can change it to sent. So that means we sent the invoice to the company already. And then once the company pays it, then we can just change it to paid. And then that way we can keep track of all the invoices that we send and receive. Let's just take a look at one more column that we could use. So let's say for example, we want like a notes section. So we can have text right here. Let's call this notes and click add column. So right here, basically be able to put any notes on the task. So we'll say this task is whatever, whatever, and then we'll click enter. So that way the person can go in and they can see that note that you put on there. Now, one of the best things about ClickUp is that you can add really customized automations. So uh, let's just create like another dashboard for let's say a clone. So let's say Joey's clone. 
right? And then we'll create that list. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my dashboard and then I'm gonna go click on automate and add an automation. Now this is super cool because you can customize this to pretty much anything that you want. And let's say for example, I want this to change the assignee of something when my status changes. So let's say right here, when the status changes from to do to ready for review. So I'll go here, ready for review. Then this is basically gonna change the assignees. And right here, you'd be able to add another assignee to the task. And if I go back, I can also say add a comment. So I can give an at, um, and then I can at myself and then be like this is ready for review. So basically what this means is every time a task is set from to do, right? So I do the task and then the person goes in and they set it to ready for review. That's basically gonna send a comment on that task to the person, which in this case, it's me again. And then it's gonna tell you that, hey, this is ready for review. So they're gonna get a notification on their ClickUp and it's gonna tell them to go ahead and review the task that I just did. So if I click on create right here and I go out then I can go right here to this task task right here. And if I change this to ready for review. And if I click on the test task three, I can now see that the comment is there. So if I go up to my notifications right here, I can see that the comment is on the test task. So this is just a great way to create a really efficient workspace for all of your employees on ClickUp. And yeah, this is how we organize our dashboards for our employees. And anytime we have a new task for them, we just create it and put it on their dashboard. So whenever they log into ClickUp, they'll see it in their notifications. So yeah, as you can see, it's super easy to set up and it's a really organized way to keep track of everything that you're employees are doing in the business. And again, if you guys are interested in using ClickUp, then we'll leave a link down in the description for you guys. You know, Charlie and I, we highly recommend this platform for all entrepreneurs that want to take organizing their business to the next level. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Our mission here at StartupWise is to help entrepreneurs start their own business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.